Counter-Strike has been a fan favorite for years, but there's a shadow looming over it. The cheating problem is completely out of control. It's not just a nuance. It's an epidemic that's affecting players globally. Counter-Strike 2 has only been out for 55 days, and the community is already dying rapidly. Remember the time when playing a fair game was the norm? Now it seems like every third game has a cheater lurking in the shadows. A shocking statistic from TimeToPlay.com reveals that 77% of gamers find cheating perfectly acceptable. But what's even more alarming is a study by Irdetto. This study highlights that over 37% of gamers admit to cheating. And these aren't just any gamers. These are gamers from all across the world. Granted, this study is more than just Counter-Strike, but still, the idea of 37% of people in the game cheating or have cheated before is really alarming. This normalization of cheating has even spawned YouTube channels dedicated to it. Some of these channels even have up to 90,000 subscribers. It's not just aimbots anymore either. Wall hacking seems to be the new menace and it's really killing Counter-Strike. It's just crazy to me that people can have an entire YouTube channel dedicated to cheating. I'm about to show you one of these YouTube channels. The YouTube channel I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna block out the name because I don't wanna advertise for this fuck but I think that everyone needs to see that there are literally channels with 36,000 subscribers blatantly cheating. And we need to show the community how obvious cheaters play and honestly how bad they are. Well, what is going on guys? I'm back with another video. It's been like a month since I posted. So um, to update you guys on what I've been doing, basically nothing. I, <laughs> I, I've just kind of been taking a small break from YouTube. Anyways, let's get into this game, boys. We are cheating in the fir first time for me, at least in premiere mode. I've never cheated in premiere mode before. I, I just never got an account for it, I guess. I, I don't really know why. There's no specific reason for it necessarily. Bro, they're coming from everywhere. I haven't played CS in, in a very long time. So, uh, don't mind the whiffs. Don't mind the whiffs. <laughs> but yeah, glad to be back today. I'm using engine owning. I did a review on them a while ago. If you guys want to check that out, it's in the top right hand side of your screen right now. But they've added a lot of stuff since then. They've added aimbot, trigger bot, some things in MISC. They still have that. The fact that this dickhead thinks he can make an eight minute video of himself cheating and then review the software and show it to create more cheaters is ridiculous to me. That's why I blocked out the cheating software, but the black cheater X is him bringing the cheater software up on his screen. We're not gonna watch much more of this video, but I just want you guys to see one, how ridiculous it is that people have YouTube channels about cheating and then also how bad this man is and you know, I really debated on whether or not I wanted to advertise his channel because I was hoping that, you know, you guys could go give him some hate, but we're not going to do that. I don't want you guys to hate on this guy. He's probably got some serious issues going on with him in his personal life. So let's leave him alone, but let's not give him any hate. Let's just act like he doesn't exist other than the entire video that I'm making about this fuckhead. Anyways, anyways. weird menu bug where if you open the menu oh my god i hit him with the headshot but i didn't actually kill him how bad do you have to be to still fucking die when you're using wall hacks like bro I don't even think this dude's top fragging and he's using walls like this. This makes it so much worse because we've all had that game where there's somebody that just feels super sus, but they're like fourth on the leaderboard, third on the leaderboard, and they're just like clutching when it counts. They're not really top fragging. They're not, you know, they're not killing five people every round, but it's just like when they need to kill, they do. And they just like win every round, no matter what. And I think that's the part that that drives all of us the most crazy. Oh my god! Eh? Eh? Did I just headshot that guy with a deagle and not kill him? I I think I just headshot that guy with a deagle and didn't kill him. I didn't know you could do that. 
Are they gonna have time? They don't. We won. Let's go. We actually got around. I legit can't watch any more of this because it makes me mad. So let's just get back to the video. I solved this cheating problem and let me show you how I did it. We're good though. I solved the problem for us. Face it is a unofficial community owned platform to play Counter-Strike and it allows you to just do like regular matchmaking. It's really similar to Premiere. It's the same rules as Premiere, but you launch through this launcher right here and face it also installs its own anti-cheat and what this anti-cheat does is it prevents people from fucking cheating no shit right um and there's also some other you know some pretty cool features on face it there's like a rank system with like the top players in the world you can uh, enter tournaments so that you can order uh, order you can enter tournaments so that you can earn face it points and then these face it points can be used in the shop this is really cool because you can actually get cases with face it points and you can get skins from uh, face it themselves with your face it points. So I feel like the rewards are low key better from the face it launcher than they are than they are from the actual counter strike game. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. There's missions that you can do. There's monthly missions that you can do to earn face it points and then like eventually earn a skin and i'm sure that there's a lot of features within the face it launcher so that you can do it i'm actually gonna put my link for you guys in the description that way that i can possibly get some face it points from you guys joining that would be that would be sick um i'm not affiliated to face it in any way they they didn't you know pay me to do an ad for them i just had a problem and i was searching for a solution to that problem and i found face it and then i felt like i should share it with you guys because the hacking problem is the real deal um, basically you just launch the anti-cheat when your anti-cheat is running and you're connected then you can hit play and then once you hit play you can <laughs> then hit accept and now you're now you're pretty much in the game it's that easy once you find your game then you just hit connect with anti-cheat and then it launches your counter-strike for you and it loads you right in the game baby yeah now it's just regular 5v5 competitive and like Face it even like has ELO and like everything that you want in Premiere Face it has on top of some more things. A <laughs> really, really fun part of Face it is you actually start with a knife round before your pistol round to decide who gets to be terrorists and who gets to be counter terrorists. And I really like this part of the game. It's kind of dumb, but but it's it's a fun little change to competitive counter strike. Everybody usually just bum rushes A if you're playing Mirage. Just like this. But I will say that... Uh, oh god. Oh god. Boom. There's one more. Oh, it was the last one. Dang it. I'm subscribed to the idea that we should all be able to play our favorite games on an even playing field. Face it isn't just an alternative. It's a better way to experience Counter-Strike. If you're tired of the cheating plague, give Face It a try. Let me know your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Let's take back the game we love.